Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to be doing a first impression. I always get excited when I have to try new products for you guys. It's just a good feeling. I bought new makeup just for you guys. This is the Marc Jacob Shameless Foundation and this is the packaging that it came in. I haven't tried the foundation yet, but the only thing that really bothers me is the size. Like, God damn, $46 for this. I'm seeing a lot of good review on this foundation, so why not give it a try? This foundation is a medium coverage. Apply every 15 minutes before sun exposure. That is just for the sun because it has SPF in it. Forgot to mention, I have the shade Deep Y 500. If you guys are wondering what Y is, this is a yellow undertone. Someone who works for Marc Jacob, they actually helped me get this shade. I'm just gonna go ahead and prep my skin. This is a Clinique moisturizing gel. So I'm gonna try this out. And this is like to hydrate your skin. So I had to pick this up because, you know, I had my little points. Ooh, smell good. I'm going to do this real quick. Let me just shake it. So this is Y500. If I have to build this up to get a full coverage, this will be gone because this is so small. Just a little bit on my brush. And I'm gonna start from this side. So if this is a medium coverage, I wanna see how it's gonna cover my little spots around my face. I also did a little research and most people my skin type, which is dry skin, a little bit oily after a few hours. Uh, anyone that has oily skin to use it because it's going to be very oily on your skin. And I didn't put my botanic oil because I just wanted to see how this works. And I think someone asked me why do I use oil? I use the oil because I have dry skin. It helps my skin very good, so I love to use that as a primer. They have a few oils out now that you could use as primer, so I like using these. Even though I use the oil, sometimes if it's really matte, the black, the Bobbi Brown foundation that I did a review on, that didn't work. Put in a little bit more to see the coverage. Uh, this is really light. Not much coverage. It's blending really good. I could get away using this foundation. The perfect shade. If I could build it up to probably a little bit more, I probably will get to cover all of this, but this foundation is more for the summertime, like spring, summertime. And if you don't like that full coverage, this will look very good for you, but I don't really mind using this foundation in the summertime or even now. I like the finish. I don't feel like I have anything on my face. I didn't really do anything much to my face, but let me just tell you guys what I use. I use the new Anastasia bronzer. This is it. This is Mahogany. And then I use the Amrezy highlighter. I just love this product. The review is supposed to be up by now. I just love these. I use my Iman Cosmetics powder. And then to set the face, I use my Physique Formula Insta Ready Setting Spray. That's what I use. I had it on my face for around 45 minutes because it took me a while to do this. The foundation do settle into my smile area and that is not something that I like. If I have to wear this foundation, I would have to touch up a few times because this look really bad. It looks like you have an extra smile face. I think it oxidized a little bit as well. It did say that you have to touch this up every two hours because if you're gonna use this in the sun, for $46, you could get another foundation. Maybe the NARS foundation, this is around the same price. I just think that if you're gonna spend $46 plus tax, that's like 50 something dollars you're paying for this, you might as well go for full coverage foundation and something that you don't have to touch up every two hours. I'm just giving you guys another alternative if you guys want to get another foundation. I'm not saying that this foundation is not good. It's really good, I like it, but for the price point, 
and I do see that it's getting oily in some of the areas that I don't like. I can't speak for someone who has oily skin, but if you do have the oily skin, if you wanna try this, just get a sample and try it out because this is a really expensive foundation. This is my final review on this foundation. If you guys used this foundation before, please let me know in the comments below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.